Hey guys, Ethan from Microchip Technology here. In today's video, we will talk about the new and innovative signal routing port peripheral available on the PIC-18 q 1 family of microcontrollers and future devices. In devices with limited I.O. pins, the availability of the pins often becomes a constraint. For example, applications that involve multiple peripherals to be interconnected with one another often encounter the issue where not all peripheral signals can directly communicate with one another which requires the signals to be routed via external I.O. pins to establish that connectivity. A band-aid to the solution is to use a higher pin count device, ensuring that all connections can be made, but this not only increases the overall cost of the design, but can be an inefficient use of device resources if many of the I.O. pins are unallocated. For instance, let's consider the SPI peripheral, which may have limited internal selection options for its clock input. When a peripheral such as the universal timer isn't an option as a clock source for the SPI, you will need to use two I.O. pins to connect the timer's output to the SPI clock input. However, this approach might not be optimal, especially in low pin count devices where the I.O. pins are a valuable resource. So, what is the SR port? The SR port serves as a software interface that emulates physical I.O. ports. The SR port brings advanced interconnectivity to designs along with other functionalities, ultimately minimizing the need for external pin routing, allowing users to create custom configurations without complex software development or extensive PCB modifications. The SR port module comprises of eight virtual inputs accessible by the port WN register and eight virtual outputs accessible by the port W register. These virtual pins are extremely flexible, enabling on-the-fly customization to match specific application needs. Each signal routing pin offers a versatile range of input selections, including outputs of various core independent peripherals such as the PWM, Comparator, SPI, Configurable Logic Cell, and more. This creates a hardware-based solution for exchanging data between selected peripherals and a virtual pin. Users can also select the corresponding latch register as an input, allowing software-driven writes to the signal routing pin. This allows users to connect the software-controlled aspects of their systems with the hardware-controlled aspects of their systems such as peripherals. An example of controlling a PWM external reset source can be shown on the screen. For applications that require advanced synchronization and timing, the SR port offers a wide selection of clock sources, including clock sources from peripherals, internal and external oscillators. Additionally, the SR port is equipped with a flip-flop for each virtual pin, which aids in the synchronization of signals. The range of input selections also includes the output of the immediate next signal routing pin as an input. This use in conjunction with the flip-flop that each virtual pin offers allows for shift register operations. The SR port also functions as a high-level input selection multiplexer for the entire device, as it can connect the output of digital peripherals such as timer modules, PWM modules, configurable logic cell, and more into the inputs of other peripherals internally through peripheral pin select, eliminating the need to route those signals to an external I.O. pin to be able to communicate with one another. An important thing to note is that on future devices such as the PIC-18 Q24, users have the option to directly tie the output of the SR port to a physical pin on the microcontroller. This eliminates the need for having to use additional resources on the microcontroller to connect the SR port's output to a physical pin. It's important to consult the specific device's datasheet to ensure the device supports this added functionality. The SR port module synchronous operation enables state machines to be implemented in hardware, reducing the CPU's load and enabling it to manage other tasks. When used as a state machine, the SR port's flip-flop acts as the holding register for the current state while the next state and output functions for the state machine are managed by the configurable logic cell peripheral, which integrates seamlessly with the SR port. Lastly, the SR port offers interrupt on change functionality to monitor trigger events in applications and can also serve as a trigger for the DMA and ADC peripherals. If you're interested in learning more about the SR port, a link in the description below will be provided to the peripheral page along with a link to the tech brief that talks about the SR port in more detail. Also linked in the description is a serial in parallel out shift register code example done by our applications team using the PIC-18 Q71's SR port. That is all for today's video. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more.